You perform the DNC on the patient aforementioned. She comes back to the clinic eight months afterwards, complaining that no menses have occurred since the abortion and that she did not manage to remain pregnant despite an unprotected intercourse for the last year. On hysteroscopy, there are adhesions at the level of the uterus. What is the next step in management? We give OCPs, we schedule a follow-up at 12 months, we do a hysteroscopic lysis, or we introduce an intra uterine device. The answer is hysteroscopic lysis. Asherman syndrome is characterized by the presence of intrauterine adhesions. Adhesions and amenorrhea or infertility leads to the diagnosis of Asherman syndrome. Usually these type of adhesions occur after trauma, dilation and curettage or postpartum. The diagnostic tool that we will be asked on USMLE is the ultrasound. It will show a thin endometrium with hyperechoic regions. However, if we are asked about the most accurate test or the one that will put the definitive diagnosis, we will use hysteroscopy as an answer. The treatment is either observation for patients that do not require childbearing. Women that want to have a child will undergo hysteroscopic lysis.